Hi, this is Rick Beatty, clinician with Digitech, here again today with the Jamman Solo. Now in my first video I showed you how to create a basic loop just doing normal looping. On this video I'm going to show you how to create a quantized loop. Uh, it's pretty simple, basically we just uh, pick a patch that's uh, completely blank and uh, we go in and set a tempo. Now you hear the drum sounds that are in there right now. Uh, we can go in and actually change those just by holding the tempo and store button down. And now we can scroll through some of the different drum sounds that we've got to use as a metronome. I'm going to stick with number five. And so now basically uh, when I start to loop, you're going to see it flash green three times, and then when it hits red, that's when we're starting to record. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay down a basic uh, rhythm line here, and if I'm off at all, either way, uh, either coming in late or ending too soon, it's going to quantize it and stretch it to the correct uh, time signature. So we're going to go ahead here and lay down a uh, just a plain rhythm track. Now while that's going, I'm going to use the RP-1000 to switch over and turn my guitar into a bass. Now I can go back up and put another line on there that'll kind of add just another Now at any time too, if we want, we can actually change the volume of those drums in the background. And if I don't like that last loop I put on, I can undo it just by holding this button down. And then I can put it back in. solo over top of that. If I wanted to solo without that last rhythm line in there, I can undo it again just by holding this button down and that rhythm line goes away if I want it to come back in I can redo it just by holding this down again now our last rhythm line's back in there That's how easy it is to make a loop using the quantize feature on the Jamman Solo.